So the last and final tape type that I want to cover for reel to reel warehouse is type 8 or extra efficiency. And those were made by three manufacturers. I only have two examples here. They were made by Maxell with their XL2, uh, TDK with their SA, and BASF with their chrome dioxide. Uh, these tapes were made specifically in the early 1980s for the consumer market. And the idea was to enable uh, new reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders with this new tape setting to be able to record CDs and other uh, music from high quality sources at the slow speed of three and three quarters inches per second. They tried to make the claim again that Scotch made in 1964 with the Dyna range that you can get the same performance out of uh, three and three quarters as you can with the better tapes of the time at seven and a half. Again, it didn't really work that well. Um, the tapes were expensive, um, and but they sound fantastic. I mean, if your machine is equipped with an EE tape setting, and there are only certain machines that were made with that setting, and they were only from two manufacturers, either Akai or TIAC in the mid-1980s, with the TIAC X series, has to be X300 or X700, uh, there's also the X7 Mark II and the later versions with that tape setting and the Akai GX77 uh, and 747 with those EE tape settings. They're very important because it's not only the bias but also the equalization changes to get the lower noise floor. Uh, we do sell EE tapes, the best one being the Maxell XL2, like all of Maxell tapes, they're the longest lived with the best quality. Uh, TDK SAs are pretty good too, but only certain batches. Some of TDK's tapes from this time suffer from white powder syndrome, and uh, that's where the lubricant kind of turns dry and turns into a white powder and powder, and then gums up your heads. So we sell these two, but only ones that we've uh, we've um, checked and made sure that we don't have that syndrome. Uh, I have seen only one BASF chrome dioxide tape. Uh, come across my eyes. They were the only EE tape that also had back coating, so it also makes it unique uh, versus these other tapes that did not have a back coating. If your machine has the setting for EE and you know about it, the tapes are excellent. Even at seven and a half you get very crisp highs, very extended frequency response, and they're ideal for recording sources uh, from CD or digital sources where you need that real crisp and metallic, um, you know, transit response that you might not get on some of the other tapes. So uh, they are recommended, but only if your machine is uh, equipped to use them.